Hi guys, welcome to my follow-up video on the NetGate SG4860 ONE-U router. I've had this for a few days now and had a chance to play with it. I was a little skeptical at first if I was going to be happy with it or not, but it looks like it's going to be just fine. The only thing I don't like so far is this short cable. It's only four feet. If you're going to connect a notebook right beside it on a table, it's fine. But if you're going to connect this in a server rack environment and you're going to have a notebook somewhere in there, you're going to need more than four feet. The other thing that I don't like about this is that it does not make any system sounds at all first I thought maybe I'm just missing it I have to enable it in the uh, PFSense configuration but if we go in there and check uh, it's not disabled besides that everything else seems to work okay the only other thing I had to enable was the uh, thermal sensors this case uh, does not come with a rear exhaust fan I was worried that it might get a little hot after five hours though it still feels pretty cool when I put my palm over the top of the case. Took readings on the top and also inside and everything looks good. And the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to measure the amount of noise this makes. I'm going to use a little app that's on my phone. So it looks like most of the noise comes from the uh, back of the system where the uh, power supply fan is located. It can reach around uh, 67 decibels there, but on average it's around 40 decibels. I'm going to hook up the uh, USB console cable. Now by default, uh, Windows 7 doesn't install the required uh, driver for the serial port interface, so we have to actually uh, download the software and install this ourselves. And this is indicated in the uh, user manual, so I'm just gonna go through the steps here. The settings are here. All right, here's the uh, download site. I already opened up another tab with that. And um, what I'm going to download is the default version. And I'm just going to accept the defaults here. And I'm going to switch the view so we could see. So it's already installed it as, uh, as COM7 here, which is good. All right. How do you hear? and I'm gonna open we can see everything in the uh, console now what I'm gonna do is uh, is shut it down now and I'm gonna use the uh, the power button so the power button is located in the back here and I'm just gonna press that so you can see what actually happens so it properly sends a signal to the system to shut down So I restarted the system and I'm holding down the, the reset button. Okay, and we can see on the console screen that the reset button uh, pressed uh, and it says uh, resetting configuration to factory defaults. So that's good. So it rebooted. So this is after the reset. I'm going to log in with the uh, default credentials. Admin, pfSense. And uh, so the reset button worked perfectly. Uh, we're in the uh, initial setup wizard again. I'm not going to go through all this uh, again. I've done this before. Uh, you can check out some of the other videos that you've seen me walk through the uh, setup wizard. I just wanted to make sure that the uh, reset button actually worked if I ever needed to use it. You can accomplish the same thing using the uh, diagnostic feature here, factory defaults. And if you hit this, it does exactly the same thing. And you could do also using the uh, console interface here. So if we select uh, option number four, reset to factory defaults, it also does exactly the same thing. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of stuff, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button.